a closer look at America's security cooperation with Egypt. From Cairo, I'm Gail McCabe. Give me, if you could, some perspective on the relationship between Egypt and the United States. Well, I think it's important to keep in mind that Egypt is the most populous country in the Arab world. It sits in a very strategic location at the crossroads of the Middle East, of Africa, and at the southern end of the Mediterranean. Egypt not only currently plays an important role in regional issues, global issues, but it has historically played this for a very long time. Is Egypt the strong partner that we need, that we want in this area? Uh, Egypt has been a consistent partner in the search for peace for nearly 30 years. It was the very courageous decision of Israel and Egypt's leaders in 1979 that led to uh, the peace treaty. And this has truly uh, changed the outlook of this region from one of persistent war to one of the search for the conclusion of this, which will be a comprehensive peace in the region. Diplomacy is its own venue, its own role. But I understand the relationship that diplomacy has with all of the other aspects of American culture, like the military. How important are they in the relationship with Egypt? Uh, very important. Uh, I would say that is probably a truism around the world these days. Uh, as a result of Egypt, for example, since the Camp David Accords, we have uh, put in around $60 billion of U.S. funding, both for uh, the Egyptian uh, military as well as for Egyptian economic development. And as I said, the two sides go hand in hand. And without uh, solid security, uh, you don't get much in the way of social and economic development, but uh, we have contributed enormously to the modernization of Egypt's armed forces and consider the Egyptian military uh, an excellent partner with the United States. Egyptian forces participate in peacekeeping operations now, for example, in Darfur and elsewhere in Africa. So when we're talking about Egypt, what are the challenges? Well, I think there are, uh, the challenges are ones of how do you continue to keep a partnership um, current and relevant to the new challenges of the 21st century. President uh, Obama came to uh, Egypt last June uh, and really talked about a new beginning uh, between the United States and the Muslim world. And I think we have been seeing um, our efforts in Egypt and I think around the world uh, have been trying to fulfill this. So that is the challenge. How do we uh, maintain a relationship of mutual interest and mutual respect uh, continue to move forward on our engagement and to continue focusing on the immediate problems of peace and security in this region. Madam Ambassador, thank you for your time. That's a closer look from Soldiers Radio and Television Atlanta.